Daytona on this bike is really, really good. Uh, Aaron put put these Freedoms on on this bike, and they sound immaculate. One thing that we did discuss um, about this ride on this bike is we want to um, we want to compare it to the um, Harley Davidson Sportster series. I ride a Sportster, and in my honest opinion, so far, <laughs> I hate to say it, but this thing is a lot more comfortable than my Sportster. Um, It's, uh, it's already way more comfortable than my Sportster. Just to the, the point. If you're a smaller person, this isn't a bike that you would enjoy probably because like I said it's oh yes uh, it's it's probably it's probably a little too too wide for some people um, now like me feel super planted on this on this bike uh, the seat on this thing is absolutely insane it, it's so comfortable C comparing comparing this to my Sportster this <laughs> this seat is so comfortable it's not even it's not even funny I almost hate to say it but I kind of really prefer this over my bike and I kind of want it because holy cow this thing is comfortable um, as you guys can see, it has a fuel gauge, has a fuel light, and it also has uh, your um, your oil there as well. Uh, it does have a locking gas cap, so you know that way people aren't trying to steal your gas. I don't know who would do that, but you know there, there's some shady people out there, I guess. Um, Goodness, this thing is so comfortable and the sound coming off of this thing is is nutty I mean it, it has the perfect amount of of tone when you're cruising and when you're just barely on it uh, and then you get into it and it's just full bore if you give it just the right amount of gas it's a nice bike for sale if you give it the right amount of gas it'll backfire and burble and carry on oh this does have a lockout Ooh. this bike is really really nice it is definitely comparable to a Sportster in, in the lean angle um, I mean I'm not really giving it all it's got in the leans mainly because you know traffic and stuff but um, just for the, the sole purpose of giving it some lean it definitely has a lower uh, center of gravity compared to the Sportster. The Sportsters, you sit up a little higher than you do on on this bike, and and that goes for most Japanese bikes. 
uh, this being in Kawasaki, um, you know, you you sit up higher on, on Harleys. And uh, from what I've read, the reason that Harley has you sit up so far is because of the way that the weight on the engine is. The weight in the engine is really high up on Harleys. So if you look at these, most of the weight's in the center right under your legs. So you can sit lower. The way the manufacturer designed the bike to have you sit is it has you sitting right over top of where most of the weight is. Your, your center of gravity is right below you. And on Harleys, the engine's a little bit more forward. Harleys feel really top heavy. Now, the, the Sportster, I mean, it's, it's made to be, I, I don't want to say sporty, but it is. I mean, that's what they designed that bike for. They designed it to be nimble and quick and little, and they achieved that. Now, with, with this bike, um, they, they achieved the same thing in a bit of a bigger platform. Uh, like the smaller Harley Sportster is the 883, which is what I ride. And this is, I believe, a 950. And that's, you know, a decent step above the 883. Comparing this bike to my bike, this bike is fuel injected where mine is not. Being fuel injected adds a lot. Being fuel injected adds a lot to this bike. It adds a lot to the bike. I'll show you here in a second if we have a little bit of clear road. That was only second through fourth, and we, we were moving pretty good, and it got there real fast. Uh, now, comparing that to the Harley, big difference. The Harley seems to be way torquier. I mean, that's what they're made for, to be a torque machine, and they do a great job of that. They do a great job of being torque monsters, and... Um, these, I feel, kind of keep up in their own right, just based in the fact that they have a power to weight ratio on a Harley, just in, in the, the sole fact that this has a bigger engine, so that's a, <laughs> that's a huge plus when it comes to comparing it to Harley. Just kind of cruise on some back roads because that's where I do most of my riding on my Harley. Um, I definitely do a lot of back road rides, and uh, this so far it feels like it might be a little bit more fun than uh, than my bike on back roads. So we're gonna find out. completely honest I kind of slept on the on these Kawasaki Vulcans 
Um, I, I don't really know all that much about them uh, until I started talking to Aaron about about this one, and uh, it, it's very surprising to me how uh, how comfortable this thing is to ride. I mean, the the seat on this thing, it's. I don't know if you've ever sat in like a bucket seat for like a race car or some or you know even like a BMW or an Audi you know something that comes factory with a bucket seat this thing feels like a bucket seat on a motorcycle it is absolutely ridiculous how comfortable this seat is and it it's scary to me um, forward pegs on these definitely makes this bike I mean riding like this is super comfortable you, you know, you're not super stretched out. The drag bar is beautiful. I guess it's more or less a T-bar. Um, <clears throat> it feels more like a drag bar. It feels like they're rolled back. But I think that's just because of the rake that's on these bikes. I think that's what kind of helps with keeping their center of gravity where it's at. Let's get into some of these twisty turnies here a little bit. kind of biased because I ride a Harley Sportster and I love my bike to the moon and back but riding this thing here today uh, <laughs> I mean if the opportunity came came up where I could afford to buy this bike or a bike similar to this I would totally do it um, this thing is just such a cruiser and it's fun to just be on uh, it, comfortability wise great uh, I couldn't be any happier or, you know, any more comfortable. turns a killer right here. It's more fun if you can get some speed going through it and you know that there's nobody coming the other way. Cut the corner a little bit, but... so far to this point that um, you are truly enjoying our channel. enjoying our videos please make sure that you're you're liking and, and subscribing to our channel um, 
like the videos, comment on the videos, you know, subscribe to our channel, give us feedback. We need to know what you guys are really enjoying and what you aren't really enjoying. Because that's how we make our content. It's, you know, we have to base it on our audience and if we're not having any feedback from our audience, how are we supposed to improve and get better and put out more interesting content that you guys want to 